Here's the inside of the G8 that we just put in. So we have the first core, the second core, the fan club, some RAM. There's your ILO chip, that's cool. Um, and some other stuff that people smarter than me know more about. So, that's your general G8. Now on the G7, don't mind the dog. This is what your insides look like. I just wanted to do a G7 versus G8 kind of comparison, see what's in there. So you can see all your fans are right here. This piece uh, comes up, and there's your core. There's your RAM here. Power supply. I had an extra battery put in. It's like a backup, but I think that's kind of silly. I didn't think that's that thing right there. But I never used it. I don't even know if it works because the system never went down and it never had to catch. But it would be like five minutes or something. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. So, just wanted you to see the differences. And you can just see how the fans and the cores are created. Look way different. But... But yeah, that's the evolution of the G7 to the G8. I think this is a 2.5 gigahertz, the other one's a 2.9. Um, I think that one has, the G8 has 12 cores. Um, and I don't even remember how many the G7 had, but it was less. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. G8. G7. I guess the other thing to point out, just real quick, is there are 2.5 drives on the G7s. I just had four of them, so this was didn't really have much storage, and that's why I had to upgrade. And then over here, it has the 3.5 drives for the G8. So yeah, the drives are coming in soon. We'll put those in and. Yeah, it'll be good. So, just keep this thing going. Get the get the transition moving. All right, great.